They call me Stutterboy K Flow Sicker, and this is an update on my 2K progress so far. Check it out. I got two different my career players. I got a point guard who's in his third season that just got a shoe deal with Adidas. I'm hyped about that. Two, I got a small forward with the Clippers who's in his second season and just got hit up by, you guessed it, Jackson Ellis. So, so far right now, just playing consistently and I'm learning how to play defense better because my defense was horrendous. Uh, but I'm learning the computer AI when you're playing in my career. But for me, I have a lot of times where I'll be playing a solid defense or what I think is solid. And my teammates will get beat to the hole constantly. I don't know why, but it always happens. And it gets to the point where it's very frustrating. Now, my point guard, it's a lot easier to play because my point guard has... I can control the offense. I can make sure to get so many touches to my my center or my power forward or whoever on the floor is open. Now, on the flip side with my small forward with the Clippers, at first when I first joined the Clippers, Chris Paul played great. Now at some point, this dude is playing horrible. Like, it's just to the point that I can't even fathom he throws random lobs towards the basket and no one's there and he'll get like seven or eight turnovers a game and that's on a good night if anybody else is having a similar problem comment below let me know when I'm playing with my point guard it's a lot easier to run the offense I can make sure to dictate the pace of the game and I win more consistently with the Lakers because of my point guard and his ability on the flip side with my small forward it feels like I have to, even when I'm dropping 40 points, 15 rebounds, it's still a struggle to win. And even then, with that being said, I also notice at in fourth quarter games, if I'm even down, if I'm up, 20 pure will somehow flip on a switch and catch up. At times, I understand that that is possible in basketball. Certain games where the game will be up by 20, and maybe they'll take me out. And somehow the other team was caught up and then there's other times where just your team will make horrible choices and somehow you'll be up 20 and only be up by five by the last two minutes of the game and then your teammates will still keep making bad choices it seems on purpose to make you lose and you just have to play within that and hope that you don't lose and, and make the best choices because your teammates won't make the good, any good choices. Maybe it's just me, but so far in my career with my point guard, Jackson Ellis came up to me, said, hey, you gotta play ball if you wanna be with the Jordans or the Nikes. And you know, you talk to your agent, your agent tells you, oh, well, that's all well and good, but I got this deal over here with Adidas. You have a choice of either going to the Nike, Jordan, or Adidas. You can go to Adidas and tell Jackson Ellis to suck it, or you can go to Nike or Jordan and just run with Jackson Ellis and kiss his ass. If you know me, I don't kiss nobody's ass. That's not gonna happen. So I went with Adidas. That being said, this is an update. I'll keep you in tune. I'm still trying to get to the damn playoffs um, and, and make something happen in the playoffs and get a championship. Peace out to everybody. They call me Stutterboy K Flow Sicker. You've been fucked until next time. I'm going to keep playing 2K. Peace.